Have you ever been out in public with your child who's having some sort of big emotional expression? You might call it a tantrum. You might call it a meltdown. You might just call it really being exuberant. It doesn't matter if it's exuberantly happy or screaming on the ground like a starfish in the middle of the pavement. What does it feel like to be out in public in a situation like that? And then what does it feel like in your home? And it might feel the same to you, or it might be that there's a lot more that comes with being out in public. I'm Rebecca thompson Hit, and this is Better Relationships in Two Minutes. Today, we're going to be looking at cultural messages about feelings. So I know for me, every cell in my body wants me to make it stop. And in me, I feel all the energy going into quieting my child and shame for having a loud child. We value logic in our culture. We value rational thinking and responses. We cultivate it in school with our emphasis on sitting quietly and doing what we're told. There is no room in school for emotions. I used to be really emotionally sensitive. I mean, I still kind of am. But when I was little... And in school, I would cry sometimes in school. Like when I thought I was adopted because I didn't look like my parents and we were supposed to stand up if we looked like our mom or stand up if we looked like our dad. And then I was just sitting down because I didn't look like either of them. And I can tell you from personal experience that there is not a lot of room for feelings in school. But it's true in our families too. If it isn't logical, we don't know what to do with it. And feelings aren't necessarily logical. We're more likely to be able to deal with feelings when we understand why they're happening. You broke your arm. Okay, maybe it makes sense why you're crying. Something upsetting happened to you earlier today? It's over. It doesn't do any good to cry about it. Stop crying. So these are the cultural messages that we have been hearing ourselves since we were little, and we perpetuate them. So what it's like for you when your child or someone else is out in public expressing big feelings. What is it like for you? What do you feel in your body? What's it like if you're a parent and your child is expressing big feelings? So just notice and share your experience with someone. I'll be back tomorrow with a quick brain primer and how logic and feelings are actually different parts of the brain and why that matters. Thanks for watching.